Um, so, and both of the schools really had good engineering programs. Uh, one was better than the other, but so I ended up going with uh, Rensselaer first. Uh, first, because I really just wanted to stay uh, close to home for a little bit. So during my first year um, over there, um, it's it was really good. Um, you know, meeting new friends was as tough at first, but like Ready said, everyone is everyone who's a freshman. They're just getting to know people, um, and so everyone's willing to make friends. Um, so the classes were you know um, were fine. Uh, I started going for electrical engineering. Um, I was a very math and science set person, um, but when I got there, um, after spending a couple months, um, I really felt like something was missing. Um, I remember one of my high school teachers saying that you don't really know where you're at until you actually spend like a good couple of months or a good amount of time at the school. Um, so I felt something was missing, um, part of which, um, if you if you don't know uh, much about Rensselaer, it's a very engineering-based school. Um, the biggest program they have there is their uh, engineering school and their science school. Um, so one of the things I worried about was that if I don't do engineering um, or do or stop liking engineering or science, and if I wanted to do something else, like either uh, teaching or music, um, I really couldn't do that at uh, RPI. So that was one of the factors. Another factor mm. was that um, the school RPI was very, it was in a very rural area. Um, it was in upstate New York. New York. Um, granted, around there were mountains around me and it was like beautiful um, when it wasn't cold, but it was, I still kind of, I felt like I wanted to be in the city. Um, so I started looking at, well, the other option I had was Northwestern University. Um, I felt like something I, I should have tried the other option. So I applied for transfer to be a transfer um, and I got in. Um, and the, I got in, I got in at all coming out of high school and I got in and again. So I realized that, you know, this is, you know, this is something that I've given, in a, I was given a second chance. So I should really try to, you know, take this opportunity. One of the biggest factors of me transferring was that um, I realized that you know, I wanted my college years to be epic. I wanted to, I wanted to really explore. I wanted to get out of, I love New England. Um, I, Boston is, you know, Lowell and Boston, you know, have always been my favorite, like, places to be. Um, but I, I really wanted to somewhat travel, somewhat, you know, get out there. Um, so I came out to Chicago. I did a, you know, I did a tour um, and, and it, Chicago is like amazing. Um, I love Boston, but Chicago is high up there too. So I realized um, I really wanted to explore, get out there for a little bit. So I, I came here to Northwestern. Um, I met lots of great friends, um, and it's really been it's been great. Um, the engineering program here is a, is a little bit better than uh, RPI. Um, both are really well known. Um, but one thing that I'm really lucky to have here is the option of um, easily transferring to another school um, here at Northwestern at least um, and in a lot of big universities you not I'm still studying engineering but there is a music school there's a journalism school um, there's a medical school so re well undergrad well pre-med so if I really wanted to do anything anything else then I could easily switch um, so I'm really happy where I am um, and a lot of people worry that you know, if you're not happy at the school, you know, you were thinking that I shouldn't transfer or not. It's always good to make sure that you you feel happy where you are. You're going to be, you know, in college for four, you know, four or plus some years. So make sure that the place that you chose, if you're not comfortable with it, um, you know, a lot of people transfer. Um, and it was at first, you know, the whole process was just a little hard, just, you know, from moving from, you know, Lowell to, uh, Chicago, but it's it's worth it. You it's you'll be much happier. Um, and it's for my favorite college experience. Um, I just have to say, um, that I'm in this club that I'm in that is only like it's particular to Northwestern. They um, they design like really cool. Um, they take like a bunch of different people from different perspectives, journalists, um, you know, English majors, engineers, and they get together to really build like something cool. So it's not just engineers building devices. Um, 
but it's a it's a club geared towards social change. Um, one of the projects is to uh, it's like this diabetes bear it does to help like little kids um, with diabetes and the the bear has diabetes so you learn to take care of the kids learn to take care of the bear um, but in general this was all thought of of a bunch of group of people who were had different interests um, and so they were able to come up together with this device and something that I really found here was that a lot of people there's so many different types of people here um, and it was really cool to meet different people from all around the world um, and get to know them so I've been really happy here and I'm glad I transferred. That's great. And thank you, Christian. Um, I was going to say you should write about that in the Mass Die blog. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, Meg, I know that you're still a high school senior, so you don't have that much experience to talk about. But I guess if you just want to, if there's anything else you want to elaborate on about how you decided that this was ultimately the school you wanted to go to. Um, well, first of all, I'm definitely a New England person, so I was definitely debating between whether I wanted to be in like Vermont or Maine because I figured it was far enough away from home, but also close if I needed to get back, like I had said earlier. And I really liked the fall, so I thought that would be a good environment to stick with. Um, as far as the school, I definitely looked like I did a lot of research into the school that I ended up choosing, which was St. Joseph's up in Maine. And one of the things was the small student to teacher ratio. I really liked that because I know that I feel really lost mm -hmm. when I'm in a large classroom. And I like when I'm known by my first name and not just a student in a class. So that was good. And then um, for the nursing program, I actually got to go to a nursing orientation over the summer, which was if you weren't accepted yet or whatever, it was still a chance to kind of see what they had to offer. And I found out that they start clinical sooner than most schools. And also, I got to go through like the different labs and things that they have there. And I got to see like the sim man that they use for the nursing program. So I thought all the technology that they had there to offer was really neat. And that was one of the things that I had listed that I wanted to find in a school was that they use up to date technology versus other schools that might not have been as up to date. Um, I definitely looked into the housing, so I knew that I'd be staying on campus and I wanted it to be a good environment for that too, so I looked like through the dorm rooms and things like that. I definitely liked it and I felt comfortable on the campus, so that was really a major factor for me. And then I'm also a legacy child at the school that I'm going to, and I know that was something that definitely persuaded me a little bit as far as financials because I knew that would be able to help me out. And then I looked into the clubs and the activities the campus had to offer. So like intramurals, I knew that I, even though I play sports, I probably won't be playing them when I get into college. Mm -hmm. So I definitely wanted other activities that I could participate in, like intramurals and things like that. Um, also, the school that I'm going to is right on Sebago Lake. So I definitely like that because I'm an outdoorsy person. So. I really wanted to utilize like what was going around and the environment was secluded. I know when I've gone to other schools, like when I visited my friends up at Keene or Plymouth or whatever, um, some schools actually have like the town going through their school or like around them. But when I go up to St. Joseph's, it's kind of like the Lake St. Joe's and then there's just like the woods around it. And there's that mm -hmm. one entrance, so it definitely seems a lot more secluded than obviously if I were to go to a school in the city. So, that. and then also in the cap, they have organic food that they use from a local farm. So I thought that was really neat. And I definitely looked into how green they were versus other schools. And as far as experience, like you had said, I'm not there yet, but. Um, my sister actually went there, so I got to visit her a couple of times, <laughs> and probably the best experience I had on campus was when we went out and played bingo. Part of they have a bingo night, I believe it's like every however many Wednesdays away, but it gets really intense there, like they put out these mm -hmm. prizes, like um, video games and things like that, and tickets to concerts, so it definitely gets intense. <laughs> 
that was really cool. Some of the activities Great. That yep, that's a good point, that colleges spend a lot of time planning activities that students can do. So even if you are in a secluded environment and you feel like, oh, there's going to be nothing to do out here, um, colleges spend a lot of time doing these types of activities. And you also hit on a good point that I think Christian brought up or Nick brought up earlier about wanting to be in the city and Meg, you're the type of person you want to be and kind of like, you know, near the lake and a little bit secluded. So it's totally a personal preference thing and these are good questions to reflect on when thinking what type of school do I want to go to. Um, so thank you for bringing up those points. I guess I can talk for a minute about my experience. So I only applied to Boston schools because <laughs> just growing up in the city, I knew that I really wanted to be here. Um, and I also have two younger brothers who I really wanted to be around and to be able to hang out with them on the weekends. So for me, I just kind of wanted to stay around. Um, sometimes I look back and think maybe I should have went outside of my comfort zone and applied to further schools. Um, but ultimately, I'm happy here. So it turned out well in the end. Um, I remember after my freshman year, well, first semester freshman year, I, I had problems adjusting to my new environment. I think it was a harder transition than I had envisioned, and I, I actually began to apply for, to fill out applications to transfer to other schools um, because I just didn't feel like I was completely happy, and I thought every single other person here is happy, so something must be wrong with me. Um, but then what I did was just talk to some of, I, I got a few mentors on campus and I talked to them about it, um, you know, professors and then also teach faculty members that their job is to be mentors to students, um, you know, so I, luckily I reached out to them and kind of just told them how I was feeling that the transition was hard and that I thought I should be somewhere else. And I went on a few retreats for freshmen in which I was able to talk to upperclassmen about these kind of, um, these worries I had. and. They helped me work through it and realized that BC was a place that I could be happy. And um, I started joining clubs, and I started um, like being a retreat leader myself. Um, and I made a pretty good group of friends going into my sophomore year. And so things were really starting to come together for me around second semester of my freshman year. Um, and I just share that experience just to say that, like Christian, sometimes sometimes a school isn't meant for you because it doesn't have everything that you as a student want. Um, and that's what I thought about BC at first, but luckily I took the time to, um, you know, talk to mentors and figure out that it was a good place for me. Um, but academically, BC has been a good place for me because, like I mentioned, I'm in the education school um, and I'm teaching next year, so that's definitely something I'm very passionate about and I'm glad I've been able to study while at BC. Um, I would say that my best experience so far at BC has been traveling abroad to Spain. Um, and I say that because, as I mentioned, I haven't left Boston for school. So for me, the opportunity to travel to another country for first semester was kind of a way to get outside of my comfort zone for the first time. Um, I got to learn a new language, and I lived in a dorm with Spanish students. And I traveled all over Europe while I was there. So um, it was a really, really incredible ex academic and personally formative experience for me. Um, so I highly encourage you guys when you when you get to that point in your junior year to go abroad if you can. Um, so let's move on. I know Meg mentioned some things about getting involved, like doing activities on campus and intramurals, but if any of you have experiences maybe volunteering or going to um, certain clubs like Christian mentioned, or getting involved with an intramural team, I'd love to hear about it. Um, and just to preface this, so Usually around the first week of school, universities will have a big, um, a big activity fair and they'll have every single organization at the school in, you know, like the big green space on campus with information about the clubs and usually the students will have sign-up sheets and giving, like throwing candy at you, trying to get you to come to the meetings. Um, so it's kind of exciting to see like, oh my god, there's so much to do here. Um, so there, there will be plenty of space for you guys to continue these activities that you've been involved in in high school. Um, so I'd love to hear about some of the things that you guys have done that you haven't already mentioned. Start. So in high school, I was very, I sure. was very involved in high school, and I'm sure just what all of you guys are as well. Um, so coming here, of course, you know, I'm thinking, well, I am here for academics. However, I want to do more. I want to get more involved. Um, and so I was definitely very involved with tutoring, mentoring, et cetera. Um, and so, of course, you know, you have to look at your resources. And as Sam mentioned, there are plenty of activities fairs. Um, we have a student center, you can say. Uh, they, they're always tabling. 
uh, you have to remember that groups and organizations on campus, they want to make themselves known. So it's your job to take advantage of their resources that they're offering. And what's 